Hey guys, it's me, Stace. Um, today I'm going to share with you a tour of the mobile home. This is a 2020 double wide by Champion Homes. It is blue on the outside. It is 26.8 by 60, so it is 1,608 square feet, I believe. All right, this steps and the deck came from our other house. I'm going to take you guys in. So you walk in and we have the living room. Nice and large. I love the openness of it, how you can see the whole kitchen. I love the large island with the kitchen as well. So this is this, this view. You can see I hung my window up there. And this side, I hung the girls' canvases there. All right, then this door takes you into the master bedroom. And this room is actually larger than it was in the other house. It is a king size bed. I'll take you on this side. Now we have the master bathroom right there. This is the girl's bed. All right, this is the master bathroom. Love the amount of storage in here. Double sinks, we have the four cabinets below that and then behind the, the door to come in, we have this door, which is the pan, or that's a pantry, the linen closet. Kind of messy. Um, we don't have a tub, we just have the large shower and I love the bench in that. And you can see we have three cabinets there and three cabinets here. And then in this one, we have the master bedroom or master closet. This half is hubby's. And then this half is mine. Nice and large. I think this side is a little bit longer. So if, I mean, he does need more space anyway. He has all the dress clothes. And right, then you have the toilet. All right, I'm gonna take you back out from this one. You see, as, as I said, it's the girl's bed. All right, so we're coming out of the master bedroom. This view from the living room. And right, then I'm gonna take you to the laundry area first, and then we'll go to the kitchen and the rest of the house. All right, so this is the laundry area, washer, dryer, or wooder thing. This is where we put the hall tree. How good I made that. And then we have the freezer back there. Then behind me is the back door to go in the backyard. I'll do a yard tour another day. Today's video is just the inside of the house. All right, you can see a large island. I love the floor color and I love the cabinet color. It came with all the appliances with exception of our gas stove. We brought that over from our house. It used to have just a smooth top electric stove, but I prefer gas. So we have that in here. Love the tile work behind the range and also below the windows. This is the pantry. I keep my spices here. Built in microwave, I love that. Then below that I keep my canisters of flour, sugar, that kind of thing. Above the fridge, that's all open, which was perfect for all of my canning jars that I have filled with you know, miscellaneous things like beans, rice, cornstarch, that kind of thing. But then we have the dining area. The hutch is here. I'll take you around this way so you can see. So there's the dining room. And then we have the den here. I absolutely love the barn doors. The girls follow me everywhere I go. All right, then we have this hallway here, which is the bathroom and the two bedrooms. Now I do have both rooms. I have a craft room and I, have a, and I also have a selling room. I'm gonna share with you the bathroom first. Just your typical guest bathroom. And then we have this room, which is my craft room. Now, as I said, the rooms are smaller. As you can see, it's a lot smaller than what I'm used to, but I'm not complaining. I'm just grateful I have a spot to craft. I mean, it works fine. Hubby did build me that for all of my machines. Then we have the desk with the computer. If I had to put both rooms in here, it would definitely be tight, but having one room as a craft room and then one room as a sewing room actually works out really good. And actually this room, we're gonna take out to the shed. I'm gonna do a she shed out there with the sewing. That's the L-shaped desk. Hubby built that as my ironing table and also my cutting table. I just, when I wanna iron, I just lift this up and it has an ironing surface I wanna cut, I keep it on there. And then the three machines. This is a five by seven embroidery, six by 10 embroidery and my sewing machine. And then on this side, the server. This actually used to go to our old dining set. I brought it in here because it has tons of storage and it fits my surgery really well. Hubby made that thread rack. He also made that. And he made 
that third rack and I also made that and the desk. All right, so I think I showed you everything. Show you the barn doors. We have all the storage below that. Hubby has to put handles on the barn doors, but inside here is shelving for storage. And I just keep my Bible stuff in there, extra blankets and pillows. And then on this side, again, more storage. I have books there, cookbooks here, Project Life there, and also Project Life. Albums are down there. That's Miss Harley right there. And I love the beams that's here. I think it just adds to the house. I love the farmhouse vibe it has. And the pendant lights, and it also has the recessed lighting, which I do like. And I love the living room. So it has the two living rooms. As I said, it's 26.8 by 60, so it is 1,608 square feet. So it's actually 72 square foot smaller than our other mobile home. But I, that's obviously you have the two living rooms, so. You no, know, guys, there you have it. There's the house. Um, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.